Hello. It's good to be talking to you today about additions of hard anions to carbonyl compounds. This is an important concept that occurs in many branches of introductory organic chemistry. For now, we won't worry about where the R minus anion comes from. It could be many that add to carbonyl compounds irreversibly, and there can be no proton donors in the solution, like water or alcohols. This is one of the most important two arrow combinations in organic chemistry. A nucleophile attacks the carbonyl carbon and electrons move out of there onto the most electronegative atom, oxygen. For methanol, this electron flow produces an alkoxide, which, after protonation, gives a primary alcohol with one more carbon than the nucleophile adding to it. Addition of methyl anion then to methanol gives ethanol. Let's add these four carbanions to methanol and work out what happens. Ethyl minus, ethinyl minus, phenyl minus, and ethenyl minus. In each case, after protonation, a primary alcohol is formed. These have one more CH2OH group, that's hydroxymethylene, than the carbanions. Let's climb up one oxidation state to use an alkyl methanoate, that's an ester of methanoic acid, as the substrate. The carbanion adds to the ester carbonyl it's those two arrows again, but this time the electrons flow back, giving alkoxide. An aldehyde is produced. This is more reactive than the ester starting material, so another carbanion adds immediately. Addition of a proton source when the reaction is complete gives a secondary alcohol with one CHOH, that's hydroxymethine group, and two R fragments. Addition of methyl minus to ethyl methanoate gives ethanol intermediate and then two propanol. Let's react ethyl methanoate with four carbanions and work out the products. Secondary alcohols with two identical substituents are formed. Secondary alcohols are also formed when carbanions add to aldehydes, except not methanol. The two substituents can be different because one comes from the aldehyde and the other comes from the carbanion. Hang on a sec. Grab a piece of paper and dream up a couple of examples all by yourself. Addition of R- to a ketone gives tertiary alcohols. All three substituents can be different in these. Two come from the ketone, and they need not be the same, and one comes from the carbanion. Here are a couple of examples. First, addition of ethyl minus to phenyl methyl ketone. Secondly, cyclopentyl anion adding to butanone. Carbanions adding to esters, except to methanoates, 
gives tertiary alcohols. Those products have one substituent from the ester and two identical ones from the R- fragments. Here's an example for you. It illustrates how abbreviating fragments can simplify diagrams. Here the aryl, AR, is 4-methoxybenzene. That's a general tip. There are lots of examples like this in Kevin's book on additions of hard anions to carbonyl compounds. If you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll have a word with him when he gets back. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.